You know, if there's one company that I really got to admire for staying on top of banning cheaters and toxic people, it's Ubisoft. Well, most of the time, really, because recently the streamer Depresho was playing Rainbow Six when he received a permanent ban for toxicity. And that would make it his third one. And that would also complete the holy trifecta, meaning he has been banned on PS4, Xbox, and PC from Rainbow Six. Let me show you guys what went down. Insertion in 10 seconds. What happened to the other guy? He keeps leaving. Five seconds to insert. I don't know, Jelly. And I'm sorry, I'm doing bad in this game. Well, You're doing well, terrible, well, and you shot me. I don't know what the fuck your problem is. I have other accounts. Yeah, I bet kill you have me. other Go accounts. Ahead. Go ahead and kill me. You're not gonna win anyway, so... Yep. <laughs> now, here we go. Sorry. The infuser is now secured. Hey, f*** that. A friendly player. F*** that hole. Put, put 30 in a f***ing skull. You were f***. Black History Month. But apparently the story goes that the previous round she was reinforcing a wall in between sites and Depression did not want her to do that because you don't you generally don't reinforce walls between sites. So he ends up shooting her and then she ends up TKing him back. And then what we saw is actually the result of that next round. So he actually ends up TKing her after that and then he calls her a B word and then the H word, ho. <laughs> and then he says Black History Month out of nowhere. And then, well, that quickly, very quickly, actually landed him a spot in Ubisoft prison. Yo! And this is the same guy that was in Goddess's chat saying some weird stuff to her like, I am black, black lives matter, you got a BF, what it do, LMAO, wink, you know you want it, come on girl, once you go black, you never go back. And someone pointed out that in his chat it says not to be disrespectful and not to be sexist, which in both of these cases, he basically was. And then it also says in the rules not to be a backseat gamer, which I'm going to show you a clip. And in that clip, he's backseat gaming for a part of it and also being very disrespectful to the same girl as before. Hey, don't let her bait you, bro. You gotta push on her. Push on her. Why don't you be quiet and let him hear? Hey, him play. bitch, why don't you mind your business? Yes, I said bitch. Mind your business. Okay? Because you just want to start talking now. So shut up. <laughs> Is there any, any cams? I'm checking. Oh, they shut the last one. Okay. Damn. The f*** we up because of me, not you. You ain't doing anything. Nothing. Nothing. And since then, rightfully so, the Ubisoft ban hammer has been brought down upon the... I can't do this. Um, basically, he was banned on every platform, so he cannot play Siege anymore. Uh, but a ban on Twitch might be something that's worth looking into, considering just how disrespectful this guy was and how sexist some would say. I'm not saying, like, a permanent ban or anything, but just something to give this guy an idea, like, hey, stop being so obnoxious, stop being so disrespectful towards others. There's really no need for that, especially when it's just something as simple as reinforcing between a site. You know, that does not ever warrant being called a hoe or a bitch. But how do you guys feel about his ban? Do you think it was deserved? Because obviously this is at least the third time he has done this. He's been banned several times before for toxicity as well. And I'm just honestly kind of surprised that he's still on Twitch because I read in some comments that he occasionally or periodically or just has sometimes dropped the N-bomb at some time. So, you know, Twitch is obviously very, very strict about things like that. So I guess we'll see where this goes, if anything, or, you know, if it doesn't go anywhere at all. But of course, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I will be seeing you all very soon in the next video. So take it easy. Have a wonderful day. I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.